Did your ancestors consume genetically modified foods created in a lab, or did they eat naturally grown produce? Okay, hmm. Uh, did they eat a chicken or a turkey injected with bovine growth hormones or some kind of antibiotics? Hmm. Okay. Did the farmers back then uh, sprayed crops with Roundup, uh, herbicide, pesticides? Hmm. Did your ancestors suffer from all of these diseases that we currently have today? Okay. These are questions that make you go, hmm. Okay. If our ancestors didn't eat these foods laced with all these kinds of chemicals, why the heck are you eating it? Okay. Now you know why you're sick. That's one of the reasons why you're sick. You got too much chemicals that you're that you're eating. Think about this, okay? Think about all the chemicals that you are consuming every day from your foods alone, just your foods, not to mention uh, the medical drugs that you are taking every day. Chemicals on top of chemicals on top of chemicals. And then you start complaining, why am I getting sick? Why are my hands in pain? What's with these headaches? But you don't bother researching. You guys don't bother researching. You don't, you're not educating yourselves why you are sick. Look, I'm not here to tell you to get rid of your medication. That's against the law. I can't tell you to get rid of your medication, but I can tell you how I got rid of my medications, the step-by-steps on how I got rid of all of my medication and how I got healthy. That I can tell you. There's no law against... Uh, me telling you how I got healthy. There's no law against that yet. Hmm. Uh, that just may be coming down the pipeline. Okay, that's another video for another time. But anyway, you know, you know why you don't uh, do research. You know why many people do not do research because many of you are busy watching Lady Goo Goo. Well, who's that lady? Lady Gasha, Lady whatever, Justin Squirrel. Uh, I forget these people's names. I don't even listen to their music, whatever their names are. Uh, you're, you're watching soap operas, All My Children, Days of Our Lives, uh, whatever those soap operas are, Dancing with the Stars. You're playing Puku Man. Uh, you're looking for Puku Man. Where's Puku Man? Where is Puku Man? Puku Man could be in the trees. He, uh, where is it? Pokemon. It's Pokemon. Excuse me, Puku Man. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't play these games. Uh, you're playing Poke P uh, Puki Man. Okay. You know what you should be looking for? You should be looking for how to get healthy and get rid of your disease. That's what you should be looking for, not Poco Man. Okay. Or Pac Man or whatever these, these freaking cartoon characters are. That's what you should be looking for. How to get healthy. Gosh darn it. Look, folks, I hate to sound like I'm preaching, but folks, these celebrities and games are not going to get you or your family healthy. Start educating yourself about health and nutrition. Research. But don't worry. I did it all for you and put it all together on one website and on this video. I'll get to my website in a few moments. Every now and then I'll refer to the website Nutri Warriors. Okay, you you folks and your families are getting sick big time and suffering needlessly, and you're getting worse, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not saying to completely get rid of your entertainment. Okay, we all need entertainment sometimes, right? However, you should spend at least some time researching how to get healthy. Come on, folks, you got one of these. You have access to the internet and this. Okay. The problem is that a lot of people don't know how to use uh, the internet and here and how to search. That's that's another problem.